Okay, now class. Uh, now we are going to the um, the next contemporary uh, theories, i.e., uh, transformational and transactional leaders. Now, um, there has been a stream of research that focus on differentiating transformational and transactional. Now, transactional leaders guide their followers toward an established goal by clarifying role and task requirement. They move on to achievement of their goals and objective. Transformational leaders inspire followers to transcend their own safe interests for the betterment of the organization. Transformational leaders change their follower awareness of issues by helping them to look at old problems in a new way. And they are able to excite, arouse, stimulate, inspire their followers to put out an extra effort to achieve the group goals. Now, transformational leaders is built on top of transactional leadership. It produces level of followers, effort and performance that go beyond what would occur with transactional approach alone. Transactional and transformational leadership complement each other. They are opposing approach of getting things done. They are not opposing, but they are together. Transformational leadership built on transactional leadership and produce level of followers effort and performance beyond what transactional leaders alone can do. So the best leader are transactional and transformational. There's a review that suggests that transformational and transactional leaders may be more or less important depending on the outcome. Although both tend to be important, it appears as if transformational leadership is more important for group performance and satisfaction with leaders. Whereas transactional leadership, which is primarily contingent reward, is more important for leader effectiveness and followers' job satisfaction. So how does transformational leadership work? Before we move on to that, we need to be, we need to understand uh, what are the four corresponding uh, element of trans transformational leadership. The first one is individualized consideration. Second is intellectual stimulation. Third, inspirational motivation. And fourth, idealized influence. So how does transformational leaders work? Overall, most research suggests that the reason transformational leader work is that it inspires and motivates followers. For example, a research in German and uh, Switzerland have found that transformational leaders improve employee performance, self-efficacy, and commitment to the leaders by fulfilling followers' autonomy, competence, and relatedness needs. This is what we call self-determination. Self so companies with transformational leaders also show greater agreement among top managers about the company's direction, which will yield superior organizational performance. Okay? So when we evaluate, how do we evaluate transformational leadership? Transformational leadership has been impressively supported at diverse job level and occupation in many industry, in many organizations. Transformational leadership is, is not equally effective in all situations. Has a greater impact on the bottom line, a smaller privately held firm than in a more complex organization. 
mean it worked in a smaller environment. Furthermore, a great deal of research suggests that stress and demand surrounding the context affect whether or not transnational leadership improve health outcome and work engagement. So transformational leaders actually can also help reduce emotional exhaustion because they believe in what they do and improve perception of the work-life balance. Yeah. So transformational leadership may be most effective when leaders can directly interact with the team and make decision, yeah, make decision when they report to an external board or directors or deal with a complex bureaucratic structure. Characteristic of the leader and the follower may also matter for how effective transformational leadership is as well. For example, transformational leaders can inspire employees to learn and thrive on the job, especially if they are high on openness to experience performance. Yeah? Another study suggests that IQ or intellectual capability is important for transformational leadership perception. Leaders who have been seen as too intelligent may be less transformational because their solution may be too sophisticated to understand. And they may use complex form of communication that will eventually undermine their influence and may be seen as too complex. So when we talk about transformational versus transactional leadership, we need to know that when we are comparing transformational leadership with transactional leadership, research indicate transformational leadership is more strongly correlated than transactional leadership with a variety of workplace outcome. However, transformational leaders, uh, leadership theory is not perfect. The full range of leadership models show a clear division between transactional and transformational leadership that may not fully exist in effective leadership. Yeah. Now, uh, contra uh, contrary yeah, to the full range of leadership model, the four eyes of transformation leadership are not always superior in effectiveness to transactional leadership. Yeah. May not always superior in effectiveness to transactional leadership. Um, more research is needed. Yeah, in terms of measuring the effectiveness of transformational leadership. But the general supported conclusion is that transformational leadership, leadership is desirable effective given the right application. So uh, that's on the uh, transformational versus transactional leadership.